Hello and welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and uh, finally I'm back. I'm really sorry for uh, not coming, not uploading videos for a lot of days. I was pretty busy. So I'm finally back. So in this video we're gonna learn how we can add score to our game. And this is very very important because you guys know that uh, adding score is one of the most important things in your games. So let's get started. So the very first thing you have to do is we have to add a text UI to our game. So in order to do that, just click on game object, UI, and text. So as you can see, it has created a text object in our game. So let's go and rename it to, let's go and rename it to score. So this score will hold the score text that is going to be shown, that is going to be shown in our game. So now just keep your mouse here and press F key on your keyboard. So this will basically uh, just zoom in on the score button and make sure this tool is selected and by that I'm going to move that score to the top left corner. Okay. So once you have done that, just uh, and once you have clicked the score button, uh, score UI, now from the inspector you can see that here is a field called text. So using this text field we can change the text that is shown here. So click on that and select that and I'm gonna change it to score. So this will uh, show the score here. And from here let's increase the font size of it. I think this should be good. And we have to change the color too. So from here just select the color and let's make it pure white. Okay. Okay. And if you want you can make it a bold or something okay uh, I'm gonna make it bold yes that looks awesome so now one more thing you have to do is from here just click on the anchors and from the anchor presets just click on here so what this will do is this will anchor it to the top left so that when we change the screen size it will not move much from here okay otherwise if we don't anchor it it will just move here or maybe here uh, so it will make a mess so as you can see we have created our UI now we have to we have to uh, create a script so that we can actually uh, we can actually change the score and change the score UI when the game runs and we have to also stop the updating of score when the game actually stops or the game when the game over happens so let's go and do that uh, we already have created a UI manager script so from here we have we're gonna actually control all the user interface or all the UI of the game so from here uh, what you're gonna do is we're gonna create a text that is gonna hold our score text so that we can actually update the score text when our score changes okay so in order to do that uh, write public text oops okay uh, now make sure whenever you are using any UI, whenever using code from any UI, you have to use the UI namespace. Okay, so at the top just write using Unity Engine dot UI. Okay, so whenever you are using any classes or any functions from the UI namespace, we have to use this. Okay, so now we can create the text public text make sure the T is capital because uh, it's a text uh, let's name it score text so this score text will hold the uh, score text that you have created here okay okay so now we also have to create another variable that's gonna score that's gonna store our score in integer values so int score and in the start function we're gonna make the score value zero because when we are starting the game we want the score to be zero okay okay that's fine so the score is zero and this score text this is uh, what you're gonna do here so next thing what you're gonna do is we have to actually update the score according to the game so uh, what you're gonna do one thing we can do is we can just add one to the score variable every time in the update function but that will be a mess because 
update is called too many times in a frame okay so what will happen is the score will increase too fast like after two seconds you will get 200 score but we don't want to do that so we have to actually call this after a limited period of time okay so before doing that what I wanna do is before doing that just select the um, UI manager object here and now you can see that here we have actually a score text option because we have created a public text variable uh, that is our score text so we have to attach we have to actually assign the score here so just drag the score here so now we can actually access this score from our code okay so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually let's create a function that's gonna increment our score okay so let's create what you gonna do void score update okay so what this gonna do is this is going to just update our score or it is going to just increase the value of the score so score plus equals one so this function just going to increment the value of the score but we also have to call this value from somewhere okay if we don't call this function from somewhere then nothing's gonna happen okay so we actually have to call this function okay so next thing we're gonna do is after a regular interval of time we actually have to update this score okay and we also have to update this text score text here we are only updating the value of the score but we are not actually changing this score UI we also have to update this value to this score UI so in order to do that in the update function what you're gonna do is we're gonna say score text dot text so this is the text property of that score text UI so using this text property we can change what is shown okay so as you can see if I select this score if I select the score you can see this is the text property we have written score here so score is being shown right now so from the if we change the text property so this uh, this string or these words will change so we want to make score 0 or score 1 or score 2 uh, to be shown here so that's we, that's what we're gonna do here so we're gonna write score text dot text equals score this is the string that's gonna shown before and plus we're gonna also show the score value okay so what this will do is first of all this will show the score string here and with that we will also concatenate uh, this score value that is zero now later on it will become one and later on it will become also two or three or something so that our current score gets shown here so that's what we're gonna do here okay so let's go and test it what we have done if I press play now as you can see since we are not updating the value of the score it shows score 0 but if we start updating uh, the value of the score in the update method you can see that if we write score plus equals to 1 you can easily see that <laughs> the score gets updated too frequently and that just it's not what we want so if I press play as you can see the score is getting updated too fast but we don't want the score to be updated too fast so we are not going to call the this uh, score plus equals to 1 from update every frame so we have to figure out a way by which we can actually call this less frequently okay so in order to do that what you're gonna do is Okay, in order to do that, what you can do is from the start function, we're going to call this score update function. From the start function, we're going to call this score update function after 0.5 seconds. So that means that our score will be updated after 0 0.5 seconds and it will not be increased, uh, it will not be increased too frequently. Okay, so we're gonna write invoke repeating so what this function does is it calls any other functions a number of times uh, and we can also specify 
after how many seconds we want to repeatedly call that function okay so inside that we have to first of all write the name of the function that we want to call so first of all we're going to call the score update function now make sure to write it the right way otherwise it's not gonna actually call this function if you just mess up with the name so next thing we have to do is we have to write the time after which we want to start calling after the start of the game so we want to start after one second after one second we want to start calling the score function update score function and next we want to write we have to write the repeat rate that is after how much seconds uh, or after how many time how much time this function will be called again so here we're gonna write 0.5f so what this will do is this will call this function after 0.5 seconds so first time it will call it after 1.0 seconds and then it will keep calling it after 0.5 seconds again after 0.5 seconds again that again and repeat that so this is how we will achieve uh, achieved uh, what we wanted and the score updater will not be called too frequently so let's go and test it out and let's see if it's working or not so if I play it now as you can see it is getting updated but less frequently so score one two three four five six so it is updating but slowly so that's what the, that's the behavior we wanted okay so now the problem we have is as you can see that even if the car gets destroyed the score keeps updating okay but we want to get rid of that because we don't want the score to be updated when the car is destroyed and the game is over so let's go and do that so in order to do that we have to tell it that whenever the score whenever the car is destroyed and the game is over we don't want the score to be updated okay so first of all we're gonna create a variable uh, and we're gonna call that a boolean variable and we're gonna call that game over and in the start function we're gonna put game over equals to false okay so whenever the game over is false we want the score to be updated but whenever the game over is true that is the game is over we don't want the score to be updated okay so whenever the game is over uh, whenever the game is over we don't want it to be updated so in order to do that what you can do is inside the score updater you can write if not game over that is whenever whenever the game is not over we want to update the score but whenever the game is over that is we the car is collided we don't want this to happen and if you don't know this means not so when the game is not over we want to call that okay you can also write you can also write it this way whenever game over equals to false this is basically the same way okay so uh, if we do that so whenever the game over is false the score will be updated you can see the game over is false now so now what we have to do is whenever the car gets collided we have to make the game over equal to true okay so we have to figure out another way by which we can actually make this game over to true okay so let's here create let's create another function and make it public public void public void game over so using this function we wanna make game over equals true okay so what you're gonna do is whenever the car gets collided we want to call this game over function here and this will make the game over equals to true and our score will not be updated anymore so as you can see in the car controller here we can see that uh, we are destroying the game object when the car gets collided with it so this is the point this is the actual point where we want our game over to be happen and this is the point where we want our game over to be true so uh, what I messed up okay we have actually already created a function uh, already created a variable named game over so we can we don't want to do that so let's name it game over 
activated okay so whenever the game is over and game over is activated we want to make the game over equals to true and we have to call this function from this car controller whenever this collision happens as you can see whenever the collision happens the car is destroyed and this is the moment when we want to call this function and make this game over equals to true but we cannot call a function of this script from this script okay so in order to call a function of this script from this script we have to actually make an instance of that uh, instance of that script here okay so we have to create an instance of that script here so in order to do that just write uh, game object uh, just write UI manager UI so what this will do is this will create an instance of this script here and in the start function or in the await function let's create in start function just write ui equals get component ui manager and that's it so what this will do is this will give us access to a ui manager script that is in the uh, that is in the game okay so okay I think we are not gonna get this because UI manager is here and we are going trying to access it from there I think it's gonna be pretty complicated so what we can do is uh, okay so let's create a just a public UI manager UI just create a public UI manager UI and we don't need that and we can actually get access to this UI so if we now select the select the car if we now select the car as you can see that since the car controller script is attached to the car so here is a UI uh, element that we have created as a public here so let's drop this UI manager here okay so now we have access to this UI manager here so now we can call whatever functions from this UI manager okay so now whenever the game is over we just want to call UI dot UI dot where is that function I want UI dot game over activated wow okay so whenever this happens I have this UI I have this access to this UI here and whenever game over happens I just want to call game over activated function from this UI manager script which is here so what this will do is this will make the game over equals to true and if game over equals to true our score will not be updated when it is fall our score is updated so our score will not be updated anymore and it will I just stay the same so let's go and test it out and let's see what I have done so if I press play as you can see the score is updated and if the car gets collided it is game over and as you can see BAM the score is not getting updated anymore so we have pretty much done whatever we wanted and I'm really happy that I have done this and hope you guys enjoyed and learned this if you have any con any questions or any confusions just make sure to ping me or ask me comments down below so thank you very 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 much for watching this video make sure to subscribe and like i'm gonna upload a lot of new videos so thanks a lot for watching and have a great day thanks